Ask the water. Ask the water. Ask the water for the female force at the heart of this island. That force which vibrates from beneath the warm sandstone under your feet and erupts through fields of red earth to bring you the fat figs and pomegranates that sit in the palm of your hand. Ask the water. If you're looking, really looking for the goddess that the Phoenicians named Tanit when they landed their ships here two millennia ago and felt a strange safety yet also a dark, exotic power. Ask the water. If you take the road less travelled, if you walk inland, into the deep valleys and crevices of Ibiza, into her pine-forested folds, you will find the ancient wells. Doorways, portals to the island's underbelly, openings to the secret waters that flow beneath and to the forgotten story they have to tell. You see, Ibiza's wells have an urgent story to share about what happens when we stop honouring the life-giving waters of a place. About what happens when we turn away from the old goddesses from within and start worshipping new gods from without. Here, at these curved stone wells, you will find traces of old paintings, lines and shapes drawn in red, a map leading us backwards, backwards to the island's old religion. One that dealt with plants, earth, seeds, the cycles of the year, the wax and wane of the moon, its dance with the sun, and its endless pushing and pulling of water. Ask the water. Ask the water. Ask the water why the wells of Ibiza have gone dry. And perhaps they will tell you that the people here forgot that God is an earth mother and the people stopped worshipping her. Because the island of Iboshim became Ibiza because God became a DJ. And around this new DJ God, there formed a new kind of worship, one which happened far away from the wet, soft, fertile interior of the island, away from those shaded woodlands where the moss grows all year. Ibiza's new DJ God united with the almighty sun God, and they brought their worshippers to the outer land, to the beaches. Here, a concrete empire was built to host this new annual pilgrimage to the island of dance. Ask the water. Ask the water. Ask the water how she felt to be sucked away from the red fields, the orchards and the stone-walled terraces. Into the swimming pools and plumbing of this sprawling concrete empire ask the water how she felt when the only river went dry. Ask the water how she felt when the wells became forgotten because their life force had gone. And meanwhile, somewhere else, God is a DJ. He commands the turntables as his face commands the roadside billboard posters. His iconography has built him a mountain of gold, and the seasons here no longer revolve around the moon. They revolve around him and his new creed. And in his temples, the water they sell comes, ships in from other continents in plastic bottles. And all around the temple grounds, the wells have gone dry. So if you are seeking a story that is both very old and very new about what happens when money tries to win over plants, earth and seeds, go to a well and ask the water. The water knows that new gods and golden empires come crashing down with time. 
the water knows that in her, the greatest power always flows.